carbon element. Brought to you by my book of chemistry. The name carbon comes from the Latin word carbo, which means coal, charcoal, or ember. Carbon was first known to human in the form of charcoal from fire. Did you know that coal is still a major source of fuel, providing about 30% of energy worldwide? Coal is also a key component in steel production. Let's find carbon in the periodic table of the elements. Carbon has an atomic symbol C. It has an atomic number of 6 with an atomic weight of 12.011. Carbon has three isotopes, carbon-12, carbon-13, and carbon-14. Isotopes have the same number of protons, but different number of neutrons. Carbon-12 is most abundant in nature. Both carbon-12 and carbon-13 are stable. But unlike carbon-12 and carbon-13, carbon-14 is unstable and it goes through a radioactive decay. Carbon-14 has a half-life of 5,730 years, meaning that after that time, half of the carbon-14 decays away. Now this process is called radiocarbon dating. Let's look at the radiocarbon dating process. Plants take up radioactive carbon dioxide in respiration. Animals incorporate carbon-14 into their bodies by eating plants or other plant-eating animals. After the animals die, they stop taking in carbon-14. Scientists can now use carbon-14's half-life to measure how long it has been since the animal died. When did I die? Carbon has several allotropes or different forms. These allotropes include graphite, diamond, fullerene, and more, depending on how the atoms arrange themselves. Each allotrope has its own physical characteristics. Graphite and diamonds occur naturally on Earth. The name graphite comes from the Greek verb graphene, which means to write. In graphite, the carbon atoms are joined in sheets of linked hexagons that look like chicken wires. <laughs> graphite is a soft, slippery solid that is a good conductor of both heat and electricity. Graphite is used as a common lubricant. A more familiar example of graphite for us is the pencil lead. The name diamond comes from a corruption of the Greek word adamus, which means the invincible. In a diamond, each carbon atom is covalently bonded to four other carbons in a three-dimensional array. Diamond is a poor conductor of electricity. Pure diamond is the hardest substance known in nature. Have you ever heard of the phrase, diamond is forever? It was used as an advertising campaign for De Beers, the jewelry company, in 1947. As you can see, diamond is known for the strength and resilience that lasts forever. Some spend their lifetime savings to show their love with diamonds. Wow! In 1985, a new form of carbon was discovered. By vaporizing graphite with lasers, scientists created a mysterious new molecule made of pure carbon. This molecule turned out to be a soccer ball-shaped sphere made of 60 carbon atoms. Scientists named this molecule Buckminster Fullerene, after an architect who designed a geodesic dome. Now it is commonly known as the buckyball. The researchers who discovered it, Smalley, Croto, and Curl, won a Nobel Prize in chemistry in 1996. 
Possible future uses for buckyball include transporting antibiotics and making armor. By the way, did you know that carbon is the sixth most abundant element in the universe? Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the like button. Bye now.